Hey there. In the previous session we have so what is a one hot encoding. In this session we will learn about the one hot hash encoding. It will create the hash for the key first then generate the vector based on that. Let's switch to Visual Studio. Here I have copied the, all the file from the session 52 into the new folder named the session 53 and updated the both method name and also updated the program.cs file for executing this demo. Instead of using the one hot encoding, we need to use the one hot has encoding. Key ordinarity is not a parameter for this method, so we need to remove it. Alternatively, it provide a flag named the use order has. Let's pass the efforts. We can also pass the number of bits used for hashing. I am going to use the 8 bits, add a breakpoint, save the file and run the project. Open the quick watch. Here you can see that it includes the two columns just like the previous session. But here the value of the keys are the has, so it generated the vector of the has value. Let me update the method for the multiple column too. Instead of using the one hot encoding, we need to use the one hot has encoding. Remove key ordinarity parameter. Again, this time pass false for the use order hashing and use the 31 bits for the hashing. Add a breakpoint, save the file and run the project. Open quick watch. Here you can see that the line for the hashing key is uh, longer compared to the previous example because we have used the uh, 31 bits for the hashing. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Using the one hot has encoding, we can perform the hashing on the key before generating the vector. And we can also specify the additional parameter for the hashing algorithm configuration such as the number of bits and use order hashing. And uh, we can also use it for the multiple columns encoding just like the other uh, method. See you in the next session.